Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to learn how to create custom text and graphic watermarks that we can apply to our images on export, as well as in the print module, slideshow, and web galleries. I'll select Edit Watermarks on Windows. This is under the Edit menu. And we'll start by creating a simple text style watermark. Let's drag the corner to make the dialog larger so that it's easier to see. And I'll enter in the text that I want to use. In this case, Option plus G will give me the copyright symbol, and then I'll enter in the year and my name. Under the text options, we can customize the font, style, alignment, and color. You can choose from any of these color pickers or select the eyedropper and choose a color from your image. I'm going to go ahead and stick with white. If you want, you can also add a drop shadow to your watermark. We can change the opacity and the offset as well as the radius, which determines the blur, and the angle. OK, let's disable the shadow for now. In the Watermark Effects area, use the Opacity slider to make the watermark more transparent or more opaque. You might have noticed that there isn't an option for size in the text options. Instead, I'll choose Proportional and use the slider to make the text the size that I want it to be relative to the image. This will be helpful when the images change size or orientation. Then we can reposition the watermark using the anchor buttons, and then move it inwards from the edge using the inset sliders. You can even rotate the watermark if you want. Once you're finished, choose Save Current Settings as New Preset. I'll enter in a name and click Create. Now let's see how we would add a transparent logo and a signature as a watermark. Before I choose the graphic style, let's look at the graphics that I'm going to use in Photoshop. You'll want to create a document that's as large as you think you'll ever want to print the watermark. This document is 12 by 8 inches at 300 pixels per inch, which should be plenty large for a watermark. There are two white type layers and a black background layer. Because I want the watermark to be transparent, I'll click the eye icon to hide the black layer. Then I'll choose File, Export, and Export As. For the format, I'll want to be sure to choose PNG and make sure that transparency is enabled. Then I'll choose Export and save this to my watermark folder. Back in Lightroom Classic, I'll select Graphic and choose my logo. Let's make it a little bit larger and then anchor it to the bottom right. Then to save this, I'll choose Save Current Settings as New Preset. Again, entering a name and clicking Create. All right, what if I want to add my signature instead of a logo? Let's return to Photoshop. I've just signed a white piece of paper with black ink and photographed it, but I want the white area to be transparent. I'll convert the background to a layer by clicking on the lock icon. Then click the Effects icon and choose Blending Options. Using the Blend If sliders, I'll start dragging the triangle under the current layer to the left to remove the white. Then to create a smoother transition between the values that are showing and those that are not, I'll hold Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows and drag to split the slider. Then I'll choose File, Export, and Export As. For the format, I'll choose PNG again with transparency enabled. Go ahead and export this, saving it to my watermark folder. Back in Lightroom Classic, I'll select Choose in the image area and select my signature. For time's sake, I'll just choose to save these current settings as a new preset and enter a name and click Create. Now when I choose File and Export, we can select from our watermark presets to add a watermark to our images. If we move to the Slideshow module, in the Overlays panel, we can enable watermarking and choose our watermark. Likewise, in the Print module, we can use the Page panel to add a watermark. And in the Web module, we can use the Output Settings panel in order to select and add our watermarks. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.